Hi, I'm Allison McNamara, and today I've got a very special guest. I'm joined by fashion YouTuber Evelina Berry. Hey there. And we're going to show you how to make ribbon bracelets. Super fun. So here's what you'll need for this project. Gold chain, glue gun, jump rings, lobster clasps, wire cutter, jewelry pliers, trim, and ribbon. So the first step is to measure out our ribbon and our chain, and I'm gonna make a headband, I think, and you're gonna make a bracelet, right? Yeah. So let's measure it out. We need about, how much do you think? So I'm just basically measuring it around uh, twice around my wrist, and something like that doesn't need to be exact or anything, so this is gonna be about okay. the length of the bracelet. So we're gonna need uh, three strands. Uh, we're gonna need two strands of the ribbon and one of the chain. Okay. So we're basically creating a braid out of the three. Once you've got everything measured out, we're gonna take our glue gun and glue the two pieces of ribbon and the chain together. All right, so probably the best way to do it is just to kind of uh, lay the ribbon like this, then lay the chain onto it, mm -hmm. so that way you can fold it and make a small tube, so that way you're kind of hiding the ends together, just like that. Great. So as you can see here, we have a formation of three strands in like a little, almost rounded tube. All we have to do right now is just start braiding. And Great. Just like a regular braid, like you would braid your hair. The key to getting a really good braid is to braid it really tightly. And one thing I've noticed is that if you're struggling getting it tight, you can always tape it to the end of a table. This is a really fun DIY to do while you're watching TV too, because you don't really have to think too much about it. Exactly. Just let your hands do the work. And also, if you're doing a longer piece, like a headband or a belt, make sure to keep untangling the bottom end of the threads because they start connecting. With the bracelet, it's a little bit shorter, so yes. you don't worry about it so much. So you can see the difference between these two braids. Allison's a little bit more loose. Right here, I'm sort of making sure to really braid in every single strand. The cool part about this DIY is that it's not only a bracelet or a headband, but I can really see this being even you know, added onto a clutch to make it into a crossbody bag. I mean, you can wear it as a belt. So to finalize, we're just going to seal it with the glue gun and sort of do the same thing as for the beginning. So create that little kind of loop tunnel that we created at the very exactly. start. So basically I'm taking the chain that I have left over and just wrapping it around uh, the ending of the bracelet to just sort of create that nice polished finished look. So now I'm just going to trim it neatly. After you cut your ribbon you might notice a little fraying and a good way to fix that is just take your hot glue gun, put a little dollop on the tip and it seals it. Okay so now that we braided our bracelet the only thing that there needs to be done is to attach the jump rings and the lobster clasps. So what I'm gonna do is take my bracelet and open this up, and this is about eight millimeters wide. It's very easy to work with. So I'm just sort of putting it through the side of the ribbon where it makes sense to kind of go through. And I'm just gonna close it up real nice. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. So I'm gonna open up the second one, and this is easy enough to open with my hand. And right here I have some chain, so I'm gonna loop it through the chain instead of the ribbon. And I'm also going to attach the uh, lobster clasp as well. So last step and we are done. And see the cool part is, is that since I made a headband, I actually didn't apply any of those clasps just because I can tie it in the back and it looks polished and nice like that. So we do the final reveal and try them on? Yes. Okay, I'll help you. I'm gonna tie this on first. Love. Cute, right? I think it looks really cute with this outfit. All black, right? Yep. And you're blue, so let me help you put this on. Perfect. So cute. So you've got a little stacked bracelet action here. Yep. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yay! It looks great. Hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and make sure to head on over to Pop Sugar Girls Guide and subscribe and also go on to Evelina's page and we'll see you guys later. Bye, thank you for watching.